morning everyone it's another gorgeous day out here gonna do some more test flying so it's still pretty cold out and if you recall last time i was flying there was um some oscillations going on there's actually two of them going on one was like this and the other was like this uh the one going like this is what i'm trying to sort out because i had that tuned out and then when the temperature dropped down to 16 below it came back so it's like surprised me the the temperature seemed to affect it um <clears throat> the other one so that's what i'm trying to work out i've not modified the pid settings and hopefully i dealt with it the other yawing is because of this so this is this is how it turns it actually tilts the tail rotor right and left and right now this is getting really stiff in the in the extreme cold and so because of that what happens is uh it's it's a robot so it tries to fly itself so it'll say turn to the right uh, just ever so slightly and it'll try and correct and it'll uh, what it'll try and do is try and turn this way but because this is so slow by the time it is corrected and turned itself this way and it tries to react and bring this back this is so slow that it is now overshot and so it now tries to correct going the other way and then it overshoots and so it goes back and forth back and forth back and forth so that's the the sort of the right left hunting that you'll see which it'll probably do today just because it's so cold out but hopefully i've gotten rid of the pid oscillations which was the biggest concern the other thing <laughs> normally when you get a remote control radio uh this this is the way almost all them all the ones i've ever flown were like this the throttle was on the left and so you can see it, it holds its position and this the rudder and then your elevator and uh ailerons so your right, left, and bank, and your uh, pitch angle. Now, when I got this radio, it was backwards. This was the throttle, and this was the yaw, and this was the elevator and uh, uh, pitch. So um, I totally had to reprogram myself on how to, th how to fly this thing, because I grew up with radios like this. So just last week, I found out how to reverse these. And so these are awesome little radios. Man, for 55 bucks, I think I paid for it, nine-channel radio completely configurable and programmable so i figured out last just last week how to do this so now i got to retrain myself because i've been flying backwards and now gotten used to it so now i gotta do some test flights and retrain myself on how to fly this thing okay let's get this thing powered up and get the gps locking onto a signal one more test i got to do as well uh last time when i lost control um i had never done a range check with the radio and luke had suggested that um because last time if you recall i did something weird with the antenna which i'd never done before i've never had a problem with calm that was the first time i lost control so to speak um so i'm gonna do a quick range check and uh there's a little button on the radio for that so i'm gonna do a quick range check and uh see if i see what kind of range we get and it's just a touch breezy out here today but not a big deal. I don't mind flying in this, it's not a problem.
Mm-hmm.